Hello. This. Welcome to the Tristan Channel. This is another compilation from Slapped Ham. Seriously scary videos to watch in the dark. Um, I had to go through. Down, this is one of his old ones. I had to go further back in time on his channel to find a video that I haven't already watched. And plus, it's hard to watch to remember which ones I've reacted to. So, um, so yes. So let's do this. Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos that can't quite be explained. <laughs> so hit that subscribe button and get ready for more eerie content just like this. So I think let me just go. They're not pl then you know I mean like I said I watch horror yeah I'm, I'm not that easy to scare, it's just a yeah, kind of makes you go Ace Ventura. It's like, well, yeah, it's, this is a lovely room of death. A door that slowly creaks open to reveal something terrible on the other side is a typical trope in many horror films. Therefore, when YouTuber Todd Peterson captured this eerie video... It's easy to understand why several viewers' minds quickly turn to the paranormal for an explanation. In the video, we see the cameraman latch the door lock before moving back, giving us a full, unedited view of the area. Unsure if the door is going to open, he waits patiently for something to happen. I wonder if it's going to do it this time. Suddenly, something truly mysterious happens. Watch. What the f***? As you can see, about 30 seconds later, the latch suddenly comes undone and the door opens all by itself. What the f***? Several viewers immediately suggested that the door seemed to be unlocked by a ghost. What the f***? While the door's mysterious ability to seemingly unlock itself certainly is strange, do you think it's really the work of some sort of supernatural force? Or is there another way to explain the bizarre movement? Let me know your theories in the comments section below. What the f***? Now, because I'm not there... Oh, I get a bit of a headache because my neck's not supported. These pillars don't work. You do it. Yeah, no. Yes, Brian, it didn't work. Um, because I'm not actually there, and I can't see the actual metal thingy Jimmy of draw. No, this coffee is really good. It's Kenko coffee. It's a red tint. It's um, silver tin red. But anyway, um, you can still drink it even though it's not hot. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, because I'm not there. I can't see the catch because I'll try and straight it on finger. Um, but even though the metal catch is like that, it's in. If it's not level, I'm not sure if you ever had this in your life. But you know when someone sort of does up a gate and they use the old horseshoe nail things? And you have the the thing go into it like that. Now, because of this, the length of the thing and the pressure and the pull of the door, or what have you, because it's not level, that can... I mean, that went too quickly, I mean, but it can... You know, when gates come undone by themselves, it goes... <laughs> just slowly easing out because it's not quite... Properly fixed, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I know he put it properly in, but you know what I mean? There's... I have to show it, you know, I have to, get it. I have to go outside and make it faint. You know, you know where I'm coming from, it's the, the, the yeah.
ghosts are believed to haunt many different kinds of places. And while graveyards and old dilapidated houses are considered prime paranormal real estate, this video may prove that hauntings can happen just about anywhere. When YouTubers Twin Paranormal are given the chance to explore a notoriously haunted brewery in Silver Mountain City, California... Go Twins! Twins, Basil, Twins! <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. Every time Twin Paranormal comes up, I just, I just think about the Twins, Jake and Austin Powers. Twins, Basil, Twins! Was it scary me before? Twins, twins, everybody loves twins. Fun never ends. Ooh, that's twins. Sorry, I don't mean. Their cameras managed to capture some very creepy events. The Cutthroat Brewing Company is housed at an old hotel oh, that yes. was converted into a makeshift hospital back in the 1800s. As the town only had a few hundred residents at the time, it had no local hospital, so they used the building to house the sick during the winter. Even creepier, the basement began to be used as a morgue for those who passed away. Nowadays, the premises is supposedly rife with paranormal activity. Employees often claim... Wait. It was used as a morgue. I haven't seen this investigate. No. I haven't seen all of his investigation, but we did a... Was it part three? I did a reaction to one of the videos, didn't didn't I? It was that one we saw where... Was it 74 bodies or something on the machine? 74 bodies were buried. You know, it's that one, isn't it? It might be that one. ...in sounds and witness objects being moved around with no apparent explanation. As the team concentrate their investigation within a particular part of the brewery, a camera in a different area picks up something exceptionally eerie. Take a look. What are we doing here? We can see what looks to be a translucent figure appear at the door. One of our night vision cameras pointing towards the back door had picked up what looks like a man coming in through the back gate into the building. As the entity moves around, it seems to become more formed, with some suggesting that it resembles a man with black hair and a dark beard. This man-like figure starts to form his... The figure then moves about for several seconds before disappearing from view. ...head right after. Then he turns his head facing our direction before exiting out the back door. Unaware of what their camera has captured, the investigators continue to record strange noises on tape, potentially proving that the brewery is haunted by more than one spirit. If you're here, make a noise. Whoa! Did you guys... See, that's... I've got that app. I'm going to be using that app. And Casper's used it as well on his thing. And Mindseed, they a good channel. They use that. If you ever go on Google Play or I... You know, any app store. Oh, you're right, Nelson. And yeah, it's called Necrophonic. It's proper freaky. It, is. it, it comes up with a lot of random words, but those words are in back, backwards. So anything that comes out clear, normal, like, you know, instead of saying tarred, which is dark, reverse, it'd be like. Tar dot 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 you know what I mean? And the clearer words are supposed to be the ghost talking and it was and it works really well for them. You know, these apps ugh, the, And like I said I had ghost tube ones that were some sessions on there which were proper like Ooh my They would have been good to upload but they were, it just didn't save it, it was just annoying. Um because it's like he said things on. He said, um, dog. When I pointed the camera at Nelson, it went, dog. I'm like, behind. And he said, I'm behind you. And I was like, it caught me by surprise. And I sat down in this chair and the sofa. And I just felt cold. I she over me. It was like proper freaky, spooky wooky. But yeah, it's shame I didn't, it didn't save it. But yeah. That's a good app. Necrophonic. <laughs> Several viewers of the footage were understandably shocked by what they saw. 
And on face value alone, it certainly appears as though these investigators may have actually caught a ghost on camera. If it does turn out to be true, one can't help but wonder who the spirit is. Could he have been a patient that died inside the makeshift hospital all those years ago? While this particular entity is believed to be the main paranormal presence occupying the brewery, it's still up for debate whether or not his intentions are friendly, or something a little more sinister. Did we just catch the male spirit that's been seen lurking around in this building by some of the workers? Many people love to make playful videos of their pets. However, most probably expect to capture little more than a fun and whimsical memory. In this video uploaded to YouTube by Nature the Bee, it seems that they got much more than they bargained for while filming their pet cat. Take a look. At the end of the first trailer. I hope you enjoy. The description notes that the video was captured in the uploader's parents' bedroom. The room. Did I just spot it? Was it behind the fucking cat? Oh my word. Sorry for my language, but. Is that, was that the cat behind the door? Oh, oh my God. The cat interacting with the camera. Where there's a nice cat, but then it turns dark. Fucking hell, dog. Everything seems normal for the first 20 seconds or so. Nelson just gagged and went, <laughs> maybe fucking jump. You ain't, baby. You made me jump, my baby. You ain't. Yeah, I'm home tomorrow. Go down the river. Go walkies tomorrow. Yeah, we go walkies tomorrow. Then, just as the cat begins to move away, we catch a glimpse of something strange peering through the darkness. And that's the end of the first trip. I hope you've enjoyed. The there, peeping from behind a wall, is what looks like a terrifying ghostly face. Enjoy. Its skin is pale and it has dark, bulbous eyes and a mouth seemingly shaped by anguish. Hang on. Hang on. Where are we looking? Because that, the white thing with the eyes. Oh, fuck me. It's like the fucking grudge. Right in the right, that corner there. Not the door or the teddy bear paw, but there. It looks like a grey alien. The fact that the face suddenly appears out of nowhere is creepy enough. However, its ghastly expression may actually be the most hair-raising part of the video. So what do you make of this bizarre footage? Is that what I'm Has at? this YouTuber really captured the face of a ghost watching them play with their pet cat? If so, this video is the perfect example of a potentially charming memory that quickly turned into evidence of the ultimate nightmare. I hope you've enjoyed. Hang on, no. You see what I was on about? Hang on. Nightmare. From the darkness. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Museum. Was it that I was looking at? I meant to be looking at? Because it was where that teddy bear was. I couldn't see it in the dark right there. I couldn't see it, but I thought on the top right there, there was like an eye. Like that, peeking in. house many objects from the past so it seems possible that they could play home to the paranormal brighton museum in brighton england is believed to be haunted by at least one ghost i'm sorry but the thing is between between the concept of something paranormal i mean mind you paranormal is not back it's like superstition or supernatural Supernatural can apply to scientific things that are extraordinary. I mean, it's um, a terminology that's been abused or bastardised. Because, you know, but to me, that's there's things that are, could be interdimensional or the same, you know, that's that solidly scientific. 
yeah, something that's more science spectrum than the stereotypical um, spiritualistic, if that makes sense. So more like, you know, like, if I was to use fiction as an example, rather than the typical, rather than the paranormal being, you know, having a hell stuff about go, you know, afterlife and all that sort of stuff, there's something more in between the furrows of space and time, you know, more cosmic horror, Lovecraft, sort of like in between the fabric of space, you know, entities that move, you know, and all that sort of shit. Because that's way more terrifying because, you know, dead things can't hurt you, but something that's in, that exists within the furrows of space and time are not dead. They're actually just natural beings that shift through different dimensions and shit. You mean they're aliens? effectively that can actually do shit you know what I mean that is more scary than ghosts you know what I mean I'm not saying ghosts can't hurt you I don't want to hex it or push my luck like I said in my one of my videos don't want to test and don't want to tempt the universe to prove me wrong I'm just saying you know what I mean you got more ch you know it's like if I went to another country dressed in a spacesuit and went up to thump you know and went and punched one of the natives that has a more immediate effect than something like spooky wooky. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Yeah, you know, do you make know, do you tell them come from? Does this footage do enough to prove these claims? Take a look and judge for yourself. In the clip uploaded to YouTube by the Royal Pavilion and Museums Trust, we see the entrance to the museum at night time. Suddenly, there's a flash of light before a cup on one of the shelves falls to the ground. Even if you watch the footage in slow motion, it does little to solve the mystery. <clears throat> While unexplained events like this are often quick to be treated with paranormal reasoning, in this case it certainly seems justified. Another theory is that a small battery containing device might have somehow exploded, causing the sudden flash of light and sending the mug tumbling to the floor. As nothing particularly sinister occurs in the video, could it simply be a case of a playful poltergeist having a little bit of fun? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Mm. Mm. Grocery stores are a popular place to see CCTV cameras, often installed to keep an eye on the shoppers as they go about their business, ensuring that they don't place a candy bar or two in their coat pocket along the way. Paranormal activity, however, is probably something the shop's owners don't expect to see. I'm not, I don't get myself in trouble for commenting about how defective CCTV is, but... ...when reviewing the footage. When watching this video, uploaded to YouTube by Miss Bethany Heraldstadt, it seems hard to deny that something paranormal has indeed been captured on this store's security camera in Malaysia. In the clip, we can see the register as well as the front door leading to the darkness outside. All seems normal for a while, until we get a glimpse of something rather eerie. Take a look. Normal. What was that thing that went across the corner? Was it? Um, is that a P? Is it a PC monitor we're looking at or something? Like a ghostly woman can be seen on the other side of the frame. She then suddenly appears on the left, and then in the middle. She jumps about as though the camera is skipping frames. Yet her bodily movements are clearly recorded at normal speed. I'm a puppet on a string. She's wearing a long yellow.
Sorry, I have really good hearing. Low or green dress with a pale coloured shirt covering her upper body. The most striking thing about her appearance is that where her head and arms should be, there appears to be nothing, just a clear view of the darkness behind her. I have ears like Wolverine, it's annoying at times. The woman remains motionless in the centre of the frame for some time before eventually shuffling from view. I'm sorry, but you do get that. Could be a customer who thinks the store is still bloody open. Are you open? No, we're closed. Off you gosh. Doors are locked. People are going off, fucking off home. It says on the window, closed, all right? Sorry, don't get me started on that. The event is clearly so bizarre that even one of the employees heads outside to see what happened. He was never seen from again. While at first the ghostly figure appears to have no head or face, if you zoom in you can actually see that she does. However, it's a pale grey colour and her facial features are indiscernible. Her head even looks as though it could be translucent. <coughs> In fact, her description seems eerily similar. Look at that. Look at that. And to that of the typical white lady ghost that is said to haunt various places around the world. These types of ghosts are thought to have suffered great tragedies during their lives and returned to the places where they were experienced. And while what we've seen in the clip so far is indeed creepy, it's what happens at the end that'll give you chills. Take a look. So as we can see, the figure has once again returned. However, this time, she completely disappears from view. Of course, there's always the possibility that the woman in this video is simply a regular person made to look ghost-like by the unusual lighting or poor camera quality. Still, if this was the case, it doesn't explain the way she seems to disappear and reappear several times throughout the clip. And it also doesn't explain why the employee also seemed suspicious at the time. Could it be possible that the ghostly woman has returned to this specific location for a reason? Unfortunately, without further evidence, her intentions will have to remain a mystery. Can you pick up some tea bags? At least for the time being. I want my chocolate of knobs. Old hotels are often visited by paranormal investigators in search of supernatural evidence. In this clip, TikToker Bell Tower Bat gives us a first hand account of what it's actually like to permanently live in such a place. Hey guys, so I practice Wicca um, and I live in an old hotel, so I thought it would be fun to walk the halls and the tunnels underneath the hotel and see if there's any ghosts. Using Reality Ripple, an effect that's supposedly able to detect paranormal energy, she begins the video by filming a few items. <laughs> so, being a bit juvenile, uh, the object on the that's gone white on the right. Two things I actually first I thought was it might be a bong, but because a little bumper, yeah. Poor someone's keeping their bed, their toys in the bedside cabinet. Not judge anyone. No, no judge anyone. Comes in her room. This is a human vertebrae. Surprisingly, not much happening here. While her phone initially detects something, she later mentions that she's surprised that not much seems to be showing up, considering how old her apartment building is. Surprisingly, not much going on for um, how spooky and old my 
my building. Everything changes, however, when the TikToker enters the basement. There, she's confronted by something far more terrifying than mere paranormal energy. Take a look. Oh, oh my god, did you guys just see that figure? Oh, what was that? In the distance, we can see a dark, shadowy figure peer out from behind a... That isn't normal, is it? Wall. <laughs> Scared, the TikToker reluctantly moves closer to investigate, but all she discovers is a dead end. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? While there's no doubt that the sighting was certainly creepy, several viewers have suggested that the dark figure could have simply been a regular person mm. who slinked away once they noticed someone was filming. Either that, or perhaps even a friend who was part. Yeah, but it just could be just the because it's the camera and all that thing. But the shoulders, they looked a bit like pointy, didn't they? And, and the hand, it just didn't look right, did it? It could be because of the quality of film. Oh my god! Did you guys just see that figure? What the f was that? Initially watching the video, this theory seems to be dispelled when the TikToker checks the end of the corridor. However, if you're paying attention, you can see that the footage actually cuts, which allows time for someone mm. to sneak past the camera. Yeah, I'm sorry, but oh, yeah, that big, big mistake because, um, well, it depends. Also, it's of course it'd be editing, but it depends the circumstances when you cut and things like that. There's a really good channel. I mean, he does some really good videos. Hassan Barbar. Where you see like, like really freaky shadow people on that. But there are some questionable ones where he's panning around. And it cuts at convenient times. So like someone could be there helping to make the video. So like, you know, you see something appear from the corner. It will cut. And then you look around there's no one there. Well, when it cuts, that person could have soldered off to the move to the next door or the next place it's going to appear. You know what I mean? So when you're doing videos, folks, be careful, you know. Um, I mean, it could be, you could put it down to people lack of editing experiences. I don't doubt that, depending on how I edit any ghost videos or investigations I do, it may look a bit, you know, in, at first. Until I get the knack of it, but you know, I mean, yeah, but that is a good point, and does make you question it a bit, you know, I mean, and she doesn't seem terrified, she's excited. I mean, okay, thinking old stereotypically because she does wicker and crafting and stuff, but yeah, but as a human being, if something freaky did appear, you'd, you know, you know fight or flight, you'd be like, you know, what I mean. Still, others seem certain that the figure seen in this clip has to be some sort of paranormal presence, based on the old hotel's history. So as always, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewer. Let me know what you think down below. What the f oh my god, did you guys just see that figure? What the f was that? When paranormal investigators seize crazy crossroads, urban ghosts, urban exploration, holy walkers, and Franco TV team up to investigate the notorious Medina mansion in Florida, you just know they're going to capture something strange on camera. In this video uploaded to Seas Crazy Crossroads YouTube channel, it isn't long before something potentially paranormal rears its head, literally. As the investigators approach the house, one of them notices that there's a creepy face peering down at them from the upstairs window. Hey, 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 uh, look, look in the window, look in the window, there's a head. There's somebody looking at us, look in that window. It isn't long until the figure seems to realise it's been spotted and quickly disappears back into the darkness. What do we do? The size of them eyes. See, some of these things actually look like aliens. You know what I mean? Aliens are more 
concrete. I mean, science would probably lean more towards aliens than they would the, the, the spooky wooky. crew immediately run upstairs in an effort to confront the mysterious figure, but are unable to locate it anywhere. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. You saw it, right? Joe, did you see that? Yeah, I saw it, bro. What the freak? While one's immediate thoughts turn to the paranormal for an explanation, it was even suggested by one viewer that it looks very much like an alien. If you zoom in, you can certainly see the resemblance. Dude, Guys, somebody dude are you kidding me? Hold Somebody's on. here. What do we do? Others thought it might have been a squatter. However, if that was the case, why... A squatter with a grey alien mask. I mean, it could be someone pranking them, yeah? But I mean, can I just, point, can I just say something? I know it sounds a bit, bit naughty and pervert... Yeah, I'm not saying I'm a pervert or anything, but... Why is it these camera tripods with all these different bulb lumps on? They look like BDSM bloody things. I keep thinking that they've got a bloody BDSM thing in their hand. Well, she's got like these tripods they have. They've got these bumps, like, you know what I mean? I know you're thinking, I'll trust you to think of that. But you know what I mean? It's just like, what the, f what is that? What is it with that? Why isn't it just a solid piece of metal? Or, you know, there could be a reason for it, and I'm being stupid, but, you know, oh, you, 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 you clearly don't do photography. <laughs> but no, I'm an amateur photographer on the side sometimes, and I had my own thing, but it's like, what's that? I don't... What's the tripod with bumps on, Paul? I find any trace of anyone upstairs. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. You saw it, right? Whatever, or whoever the figure was, this is certainly one very scary video and a paranormal investigation that these YouTubers won't likely soon forget. Hey, hey, uh, look, look in the window. Look in the window. There's a head. There's somebody looking at us. Look in that window. Look in that window. Dude, guys, somebody dude are you kidding me? Somebody's here. Before we take a look at some chilling CCTV footage, Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Also, remember to put on your best hat, declare to everyone in the room that gosh darn it, you're going to click that... See, so it, it was... I'm not sure we can hear it on the recording, but my, my ears are picking up the... in the bloody light bulbs. That's so annoying like button then gosh darn it click that like button gosh darn it man shadow figures are often described as elusive paranormal beings that appear only fleetingly in this video shared to tiktok by creepy hub 15 the strange figure that's been captured on camera certainly fits that description the clip appears to be an excerpt of cctv footage captured in the hallway of what could be a hospital or office building of some sort Suddenly, a small dark figure emerges from the doorway and seems to briefly hide behind the car before quickly disappearing once again. Viewers remain divided over what they think's happening in this video. Some Scullum. seem sure that it's simply a human child playing around. However, the figure appears to move way too fast for this to be the case. One, the opacity is too light. I mean, they could have done editing themselves. A child? Is this child a speedster? That then leaves the possibility that this security camera really has captured a shadow person on tape. So what do you think this piece of mysterious footage shows? Shadow person, speedy child, or something else entirely? Love to hear your theories in the comments section below. Now, if you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, we have a massive paranormal playlist there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Leave us a comment down below, smash that thumbs up button. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Ha-poo! Ha-poo!
<laughs> I love when he says nice. Whoa, well then, folks, that was proper spooky work, wasn't it? Yes, yes, matron. Well, like I said, my um, <clears throat> update about you know, useful thing is if you're watching this with me, these videos, and you get free, you get spooked out easily. At least it kind of feels like we're in the same room, even though this is a recording. If it, you know, kind of in, <laughs> in spirit. <laughs> at least I'm with you watching it so yes so yes if you like the video hit the like if you haven't already subscribed subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss up any uploads so yes until next time folks